welcome back now let us see how for loop works in python so for loop first let me take one list um values or obj equals to any object name you can define for list variable to comma three five seven nine okay so you have to iterate through each and every value in the list and you need to print the output so that is your requirement so to solve this requirement we are going to use for loop because loop helps us to iterate over each and every element in the list so syntax of for loop in python is for now you have to declare one variable which will iterate through each and every value in the list okay it's like um if you have experience in java for loops you will use i right i equals to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus i the variable you have to declare one variable which will help you to iterate into list so let's use i only again or any one it's up to you you can use any name here in so in which you have to iterate that you have to pass so here i have to iterate in this list right so obj that's it so syntax here is for in these are the keywords you need to remember so for what is the variable you have to declare which will iterate in like in which it has to iterate okay and colon is obvious because it's treated as like open curly braces which i am keep on saying and again you have to follow code indentation where when you hit an enter you should exactly start writing from here if you start writing it from this point then python will treat it as separate code but not as part of your for block so to go to that exact point give one tap you will again reach that place right so now let's print the values print i so what will be the output now so first of all the loop iterate each and every time in that list firstly it have to in that i value it prints to again loop continues it moves to 3 because we were asking to iterate through each and every item of this list okay and next 5 7 9 like this all these values will be printed in the output so let's see let's run this program you can run either run loops or you can use control shift f10 perfect you see that 2 3 5 7 9 all these are printed in the output okay so this is how you iterate over list using for loop now if you want to print multiples of 2 let's say your output should be 4 into 2 which is multiple of 2 here 6 10 14 18 so print the list with a multiples of 2 how do you do that you need to make a simple change here for i just put i star 2 so that when it comes into loop 2 2 into 2 4 will print and then um 3 into 2 6 like that it prints multiple of 2 let's see you see that it have successfully printed the multiples of 2 good so next now we have to print sum of first five natural numbers okay sum of five means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is nothing but 15 i think uh, yeah 15 should be your output so basically you have to iterate through each and every natural number and you need to sum it and the value should be 
if that is your requirement how do you do that so here i explained you how to iterate over list in python but if you just want to um loop through some set of numbers like um in java like for i equals to 0 we say i less than 5 right so it will iterate from 0 to 4 something like that so if you want to iterate till a fixed number then how do you do that in that case um we have a method or we can say command like that so first again start with one variable which will iterate you can say j in what this time i will give the first five natural numbers okay so then you can give like this range 1 comma 6 so that means it will iterate through 1 to 5 so basically you can say this as if you say range um some i comma j then it will iterate till i to j minus 1 okay so that means it will iterate now from 1 to 6 minus 1 which is 5 so that's how it treats the last index is an exclusive so 1 to 5 it will iterate this is how the syntax work right so here there is no list we are just summing up the natural numbers so that's the reason j will start from 1 and it will loop will continue until 5 okay so i will just print print j and colon is mandatory and just give the space i'll give it on the top perfect so let's run this now right you see that 1 2 3 4 5 so we have successfully printed natural numbers from 1 to 5 so our now next goal is to sum them how do you sum and print the output so it is simple we have to write one small logic here so let me define one variable sum equals to 0 okay if you how so home over this it says shadows built in name sum so that means there is already reserved keyword in python with sum then you can just change summation something like this so that error will be gone as it is not reserved keyword in python so i have declared one variable here next what i will do here summation equals to summation plus j right now let's see what happens first time as i said j value will be 1 because we are asking to iterate within range with 1 to 5 once j value is 1 here summation value is initially 0 right 0 plus j value is 1 Zero plus one, one. Summation value will be one after first iteration. Next time, j value will be two. Right? So two plus previously summation value is one. So two plus one, three. Three is summation value in the second iteration. In the third time, j value will be three. Three plus previously sum is summation value is three. Three plus three, six. Now six will get stored in the first three iterations after completion of first three iterations, and a fourth iteration six plus j value will be four, right? And summation value six plus four is ten by end of the fourth iteration. Now in the fifth iteration, the previous summation value is ten plus this time new j value will be five in the last last iteration. Ten plus five is fifteen, and finally. you can print the summation which is 15 okay
okay it's very simple this is the step you need to write and you have to declare one variable with starting with zero and every time for each and every iteration you need to sum up with the j value because j value will iterate through one to five right you just need to sum there good so after this if you want to print you need to print once you come out of this for loop isn't it so after completion of all five iterations your summation value will be 15 and you can print the summation finally but if you print here problem is that this belongs to for loop right this print summation should come after completing of the for loop with all the iterations so this statement should be outside of the for loop when you write exactly down it will treat as part of this for loop only so give one backspace it will go to the beginning so that it will be not treated as part of this for loop that's it so let's run this test and you see that final output is 15 okay so this is how you actually sum of numbers using for loop let's continue in our next lecture thank you